Mongolian pride at Hanga province. Mongolians, next generation of great King Chinggis, who was amazed due to his capacity, power, courage, and bravery in history of ancient times. In the 13th century, King Chinggis established Mongol by confederating core Mongol tribes into statehood. Since confederation, Mongolian livelihood of core Mongol tribes for developing, started manufacture, and commerce by developing interrelation and interconnection with other countries and became wide territory kingdom with improved armies and weapons. For 700 years, Mongols have protected their culture, tradition, and land from harm and established new social life after liberating native country from foreign aggressors. In 1924, during First Great State Assembly of Authority, Mongolia adopted their first constitution and declared the independence throughout the world.
dangerous times don't fly too high Be sure to keep the ground in sight Fly forever if you keep it tight Arhangai is the province that attracts tourists the most. Year after year, tourists and Mongolians are interested in Tirhin Sagan Lake, Horgin Togok, Chuluts Canyon, Ugi Lake, Tahir Chulut Stone, Noyun Hatan Hangai, Sovrog Mountain, and etc. The world's most favorable places to travel include Tirhin Sagan Lake. The lands and mountains are beautiful and well shaped because of old volcanic eruptions. Two to three kilometers away to the west from mountain Horgentoro, there is a lake. The length is 16 kilometers with 6 kilometers of width, 20 meters depth and area in 61.1 kilometers, clear lake. Ahangai province has got a lot of archaeological sightseeing that keeps history about ancient people who lived in Mongolia. Especially, the area is rich with archaeological rare monuments of the Middle Ages which connected in the Stone Age, Bronze Age, Iron Age and the ancient states which established in Mongolia. One of the cultural marvelous creation is rock painting which ancient people drew, people, animals, various of stamps, and signs on the rocks and stones. Arhangai province is rich with animals and trees which grow up the center and south side of Mongolia. This place is the first place in research of Mongolia, rock painting which describes ancient traditional life and lifestyle of them. Arhangai is famous by the cave painting of Olgat in Undurulang, Tariat, Somung River in the boundary of Undurulang, and Bayam Bulag in Tariat, and Cave of Halt in Jarakland. Another factors are deer statues. Deer statue is built by ancient Central Asian nomads, which is one of the animal statues that were made during the Bronze Age. Another factors are deer statues. Deer statue is built by ancient Central Asian nomads, which is one of animal statues that were made during the Bronze Age. They were made from granite or green stone. Most of them were around 3 to 4 feet tall, however, some were almost 15 feet tall. There are 600 deer statues in Asia. Out of that, 500 was made and still resides in Mongolia. Out of that 500, 100 deer statues reside in Arhangai province. Locals of the Mongolian territory would paint their culture, opinion, and activities on the rocks, thus leaving many figures and clues that led to the Zhangnu, Turk, Uyghur, and Kidan generation. Since year 2000, Mongolian and French archaeology research team found a fossil that dates back to the Zhangnu and their large burial grounds in Qazmud in Arhangai. In Arhangai province, there are a lot of towns, forts, walls, and ruined cities left from ancient and middle Age statehood, which would be Har Ruin City, King Harho's ruins, White Temple's ruins, Temer City's remains, Huch Temple's remains, Shar Castle, Hirmintas, cities, folks, towns and temples are mostly remained in rivers like Arhun, Temir and Hanoi. By painting their lifestyle on the rocks and statues shows that literacy is essential in their nomadic lifestyle. Therefore, Arhangai province is a historical place, not only Mongolians, also to the nomadic lifestyle. Mm -hmm.